Like a lot of people asked us, hey, how do I do Aspire in dev containers and code spaces? A lot of people want to try out .NET 10, but maybe don't want to install it on their machine. Now I have a dev box that I install all previews on. So I have a, had a .NET 9 dev box and I have a .NET 10 dev box where I keep only those releases there. But uh, I think Mike, you're going to show us off a whole bunch of cool uh, dev containers and code space stuff, right? I am. I am. Yep. All right, cool. Well, we're bringing up your screen. Just tell me. I'm ready. Let's okay. do it. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. okay. I'm bringing up your screen. Here we go. Okay. All right. So what I've got here is I'm on my local system here. I've got my uh, little terminal window here. And what I want to show you is that on my local system, uh, what I've got installed is just .NET 9. And that's what I use for lots of things here in my, in my production system. And I do development and things like that. But if I want to do something in .NET 10, then I need to do something. Uh, 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 I, I would either have to install the .NET 10 previews here, which I could do, but it might be nice to have that in sort of an isolated environment where I could just play with that. And then when I'm done playing with that, I could go back to doing my regular production work. And so that's what I'm going to show you. Um, you can see here that I've, I'm, I'm in this repo uh, ASP.NET What's New. And I'm going to bring this up. And um, it's going to ask me, do you want to open this in a code space? And I'm, I'm going to hold off for a second. Yeah, it's got a dev container configuration file, but let's just wait on that for a minute. I want to show you what, what's here. So what's here, let's get rid of that, is a file called devcontainer.json. It's inside this dev container folder. Uh, and you actually can get this with the dev containers extension. Uh, in VS Code, and you just say, create my container configuration files. Uh, yes, I know. <laughs> and it will create you this file. Uh, and it will it will be set up. You can tell it what version of C Sharp to run and all that kind of stuff. Um, so uh, here you can have customizations. So you can say, these are the VS Code customizations that I want. And I've got you know, C Sharp Dev Kit in here. I've got a REST client. I've got some things for Open API because I do a lot of work with Open API. Um, there's ways to add features. So one of the things that you could do here is you could add uh, a node uh, environment here, so that maybe you could uh, right. run some node tools. Um, and then there's um, uh, other things. Forward ports create uh, create command with, that would run something every time you start your container. Um, now, what I've done here is rather than use a, a predefined container, and actually I should show you that uh, all the containers for this live out in some place called the Microsoft Artifact Registry. And this, this one here, the .NET dev container images, has all the dev container images. And you can come in here and you can find all the dev container images that you could possibly run. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what I've done, uh, oops, sorry is um, I've created a Docker file because I actually wanted to customize things a little bit. So I started out with um, the dev container for .NET 8. And I chose .NET 8 because .NET 8 is the LTS release. And some of the tools that I use, the .NET tools that I use are built on top of the, uh, the LTS release. Uh, but then I want the, the next STS release. So I installed .NET 9. And then I install uh, the nightly for preview two. Now, the way that I'm installing these is, is uh, a bit interesting. I'm not using uh, the .NET install command that you might know of. What I'm actually doing is just copying the install files directly from another container that is again out in that uh, Microsoft artifact registry, uh, one for uh, the dot, uh, .NET 9 SDK, and then another one for this nightly. And this is a very efficient way of setting up multiple SDKs so that you can uh, have your environment the way that you want it with, with all the capabilities, all the SDKs that you need. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm gonna say reopen in container, and that's gonna take this and it's going to start a container. Now I've got Docker running, you can kind of see that up here. I've got Docker running in the background and Docker has started my container and given me a, a console here. Now, the first thing that I want to do is show you here, .NET, list SDKs. And you can see that here I have the three SDKs that I asked for, the .NET 8 SDK that came in from the dev container, the .NET 9 and .NET 10 preview 2 
SDKs that I copied from those other containers into this one. So now I'm all set up with my environment. 